29 Borbal Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Mighty in size and loyalty. The Borbal, or the South African Mastiff, is a large dog. Males stand 24 to 27 inches tall, while females average 22 to 25 inches. They weigh 150 to 200 pounds on average, ranking amongst the heaviest dogs worldwide. Number 2. Sporting an impressive and distinctive head that's blocky, broad, square, and proportionate to their large bodies, Borbils exhibit a remarkable look. When showing interest, moderate wrinkling is visible on their forehead. Their head also features medium-sized, widely spaced eyes and V-shaped hanging ears, imparting a look of intelligence and alertness to the breed. Number 3. Borbils have a short, dense, smooth, and shiny coat that shields them from different weather conditions. This coat displays a range of colors including red, brown, reddish-brown, fawn, cream, brindle, and Irish-marked. Facial masks may or may not be present, varying among individual borbils. Number 4. For the Borbal, movement serves as the ultimate confirmation test. As the most agile among Molosser breeds, their power and agility should be evident in their robust movement. The front reach complements a sturdy rear drive, maintaining a firm and strong back without excessive body roll. Number 5. A Borbal's skin should have a dark hue on their stomach, under their fur, and the roof of their mouth. This darker pigment is deemed essential in their country of origin for the protection against the sun and heat. Number 6. Legend has it that the Borbal's tail is docked for practical reasons. As a farm protector, the Borbal faced encounters with marauding baboons. With a short tail, the dog could not be easily restrained by the dexterous baboons. However, it's not uncommon today to see Borbals with long, natural tails. Number 7. As per the AKC breed standard, a Borbal may be disqualified from confirmation shows if it possesses blue eyes, entropian or ectropian, undershot or overshot bite, wry mouth, brick ears, a long coat, or nose leather in any color other than black. Disqualification is also applicable if the Borbal has powered coats, with white exceeding more than 33% of the color on a dog, or if the dog's coat is of any base color not listed in the standard. Number 8. Known for one of the most powerful bite forces among dogs, Borbils can exert over 450 psi, potentially breaking bones, a force nearly three times that of the average human measured at 162 psi. Number 9. As highly intelligent dogs, Borbils easily grasp new commands and tricks, yet they may exhibit stubbornness and independence. Originally bred for hunting and protecting against large predators, their independent thinking can make training challenging, especially for those with limited dog training experience. Number 10. Borbals thrive on daily exercise and having a purpose, yet they also relish peaceful naps. If inclined, your dog will enthusiastically participate in activities such as agility, weight pulling, and stock competitions. Given their intelligence and hardworking nature, they excel in these types of challenges. Number 11. Like any other dog, Borbals require ample physical and mental stimulation. A bored Borbal can swiftly become destructive, engaging in excessive barking, digging, and chewing. Given their size, these destructive tendencies might not be ideal, so make sure they receive plenty of stimulation to keep them content. Number 12. When it comes to guarding, few dogs match the prowess of the Borbal. Originally bred to protect properties and humans from large predators in the savanna, Borbals take their guarding responsibilities pretty seriously. These dogs are dedicated to protecting what matters to them ensuring that intruders won't be approaching your property anytime soon. Number 13. Despite their imposing appearance, Borbals are sweethearts at their core. Apart from providing protection against large predators, these dogs were also bred to be good companions for South African farmers. As a result, they deeply love their human family members, especially children, over whom they can be quite protective at times. Number 14. While Borbals can form strong bonds with dogs and other pets they've been raised with, their natural territorial instincts may lead to aggression towards unfamiliar dogs or pets. Being inherently dominant, they don't easily back down from a fight so it's a good idea to keep them on a leash when out and about, especially in dog parks. Number 15. Typically a robust breed, Borbals generally have a life expectancy ranging from 9 to 11 years. Providing sufficient care and affection can contribute to many of these dogs enjoying more fulfilling and extended lives. Number 16. Similar to other dog breeds, Borbals can be susceptible to certain health issues. Common concerns for the breed include hip and elbow dysplasia, ectropion and entropion, heart diseases, cataracts, and cancer. Number 17. Large dogs with deep chests, such as the Borbal, are prone to a serious health issue called gastric dilatation valvulus, simply known as bloat. This condition involves the stomach feeling with air and twisting violently, causing severe pain. If not promptly treated, it can be fatal, leading to death in only just a few hours after experiencing the first symptoms. Number 18. 
Female borbils, particularly those that haven't been spayed, are commonly susceptible to vaginal hyperplasia. This condition involves an enlarged and inflamed vaginal lining influenced by estrogen, resulting in visible bulging out of the vaginal lips. Number 19. Some individuals of the breed may also be prone to juvenile epilepsy, which is an inherited neurological disease characterized by seizures in young puppies. Symptoms typically emerge between 3 and 9 weeks of age and often resolve by 8 to 13 weeks of age. Number 20. The name Borbel is derived from Afrikaans and Dutch words for farmer, that's boar, and dog, that's ball. Bred by Dutch settlers in South Africa from the 1600s, these dogs were originally farmer's companions, responsible for defending homesteads and hunting dangerous wildlife like hyenas, baboons, leopards, and other large cats. Number 21. European settlers brought large and strong dogs to South Africa, which interbred with indigenous domestic dogs and various other breeds over several centuries. Bulldogs and mastiffs introduced by the English were also crossbred with Boer Bulls. The De Beers Diamond Mining Company imported bull mastiffs to guard their mines, further influencing the Boer Bull breed into what it is today. Number 22. During the 1800s, colonists opposed British rule in South Africa and moved inland. As a result, their dogs were dispersed and frequently adopted by isolated communities, where they became essential for hunting, herding, guarding, and protection against threats. Following the World Wars, South Africa experienced increased urbanization, leading to the crossbreeding of poor bulls with other dogs, often without regard for maintaining breed purity. Number 23. An account from 1909 titled The Boar Hunting Dog portrays the Warble as the optimal dog for hunting leopards and baboons in packs. The report notes that a pack of these dogs could effectively kill a leopard with a leg caught in a trap. The standard encyclopedia of South Africa further describes the Boar Mastiff as an outstanding fighter. For instance, one individual successfully defeated leopards in four separate combats over several years but succumbed in the fifth encounter. Number 24. In the 1980s, a group of breed enthusiasts initiated efforts to reintroduce the breeding of the pure boar bulls. Thanks to their dedication, the boar bull regained popularity in South Africa and began to be exported worldwide. Despite this, the breed remains relatively uncommon outside of South Africa. Number 25. The boar bull gained the AKC recognition in 2015, and although steadily growing in popularity, the breed is still relatively uncommon in the US. As of 2022, according to the AKC's list of most popular dog breeds in America, the boar bull held the 118th position out of 199 total registered breeds. Number 26. The first boar bull introduced at the Westminster Kennel Club was Opleo, named after the guards in The Wizard of Oz. Making his debut in February 2016, the then 19-month-old Opleo had high expectations. He achieved the best of breed at the 2016 show but did not advance in the working group category. Number 27. If you're considering getting a Borbel pup from a reputable breeder, be prepared to invest a substantial amount. A pup from a reputable breeder can range from $1,500 to $3,500. Puppies with exceptional bloodlines may even command higher prices ranging from $4,000 to $6,000. Number 28. The breed has left its imprint on the silver screen in the 2017 film A Dog's Journey, where a boar bull is showcased as one of the reincarnations of the movie's canine protagonist. The character is voiced by American actor Joss Gad, well known for his voiceover of Olaf in the Frozen franchise. Number 29. Ownership of boar bulls faces legal restrictions in multiple countries, with bans in Romania, Denmark, and Russia, along with regulations in Ukraine. The breed is also prohibited in Bermuda, France, Mauritius, and Qatar, while importation restrictions apply to the Faroe Islands, Singapore, Tunisia, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Alright guys, now which of these boar bull facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.